Who is it? Me, Junior! I'm not home. That's too bad, because I have a glass of lemonade, and I wanted to share it. I'm home. No way! Liars don't get lemonade! I didn't want any anyway, and I'm not gonna hit you, because good people should always love their enemies. Wait a minute, good people should always love their enemies? Yeah. Who says so? Well, first it was Phoebe, then it was your dad, then Mr. Maimond, and now I said it. Uh, uh. And that's why I'm not gonna hit you, because good people should always learn to love their enemies. Wait a minute, I'm not your enemy. I'm your friend, Chavo. <laughs> you should have told me that before. <laughs> <laughs> Chavo, you were curious like this once before, remember? And I accidentally cut you with this pair of scissors. Yeah, how could I forget? So then why do you come back here and risk having the same thing happen to you all over again? Because good people should always learn to love their enemies. So I forgive you, but promise me you won't do it again. Hmm? Promise not to do what again? To cut me with your scissors. I promise. Okay, it's your turn. And you have to promise me you will mind your own business. That's true, that's true, that's true. All righty, then. Hmm. What about our agreement? Which one? The one you agreed on two minutes ago when you said that you'd mind your own business. But I don't own a business. Well, go start one anywhere but here. Just go away. Okay, just don't get angry. <sighs> Look, Chavo. The phrase that says good people must love their enemies is very honorable. But nowhere in there does it say anything about loving nosy people. So you mean that I should go now? Bingo! Is that... a yes? Just go! But I... Take a hike! Yes, I did. You hit me! But I didn't do it with intention. You didn't do it with intention. You did it with a door. Haven't you ever heard of knocking before you open a door? But I did knock. Did not. Oh, no? Yeah, well, how would you know you couldn't see me? All that matters is that you just slammed me against the wall with the door. And my ear was almost pushed inside of my head. Well, half of this was your fault, you know. What were you doing there? What do you care? Well, I would care if you pull my hair when we go to the fair unless we see a bear sitting in a chair wearing underwear and eating an eclair because that would be rare. Mm. You can explain that one to me tomorrow. I can explain what to you? What do you care? Well, I would care if you pull my hair when we go to the fair unless we see a bear sitting in a chair wearing underwear and eating an eclair because that would be rare. I told you tomorrow. Tomorrow what? What are you... No, nothing. Okie dokie. I want you to bother me right now, Kiko. I'm chasing lizards with my slingshot. Mm. May I borrow your slingshot? No. Well, then I guess I won't share my great big hand sandwich with you. Mm. Uh. 
Exactly. What's that? No, I mean, uh, uh, uh... That's enough. Give me that vile instrument. Okay. <laughs> Mommy! Excuse me. Yes? The slingshot's mine. It was. You gonna steal it? Do I look like a thief to you? Why do you think I asked you? Huh? Ugh. Well, you're wrong about that. Because I'm not going to steal your slingshot, but I am going to seize it. Gonna what? I said to seize it. Oh, what do you care? Well, I would care if you pull my hair when we go to the fair, unless we see a bear sitting in a chair wearing underwear and eating in a club, because that would be rare. But can I have my slingshot? <laughs> What's the problem? Chavo, do you know what's happening with Kiko? Yeah, he's crying. Yeah, I see that. So why did you ask me them? I want to know where the tears are coming from. Ah! From his eyes. I don't mean the location. I mean what's the cause, the motive, the reason, or the circumstances which caused him to cry. I'm not just trying to be curious here, Chavo. I genuinely want to be informed. I would like you to give me a complete account of the events. What? I will not tell a soul you can count on me. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How high do I go? Oh, never mind. Just tell me what happened with Kiko. Oh, right. Do you want to know from the beginning or before that? Hmm? From the beginning. Since the very beginning? Yes. You mean since Adam and Eve? No, not that far back. Just from what happened here. Ah. Well, me and Kiko were right here. No, actually, it's Kiko and I. You weren't here. I know! Now what? Nothing. Finish your thoughts. Well, me and Kiko were right here. Kiko and I were here. Kiko and I. Nuh-uh, no, you weren't. Look, I'm just explaining how you should say it. The proper thing is to appoint another person first. What other person would I point to? It was just me and Kiko. Exactly. So in this case, then, Kiko is the other person we're talking about. Kiko's the other person? Yes. Okay. Me and the other person were right here and... No! No what? Forget it. Continue. I was chasing a lizard with my slingshot. I got it. How could you? It ran out the back. Just keep going. Miss Pinster came in and I hit her with the slingshot. I did it on purpose, but I didn't mean to. Oh, I see. Go ahead. No, right here. When I say go ahead, I'm just telling you to continue on with your story. It's not a story. It really happened. <sighs> Let's start over again. You left off with you chasing lizards. One lizard. One lizard! Two lizards! Three lizards! It doesn't make any difference! <laughs> Professor Girafalde! Oh, Mrs. Lizard. Huh? I mean, Mrs. Worthmore. What a nice surprise to see you here. I came to bring the lizard flowers. Huh? I mean, this bunch of lizards. Huh? I mean, this bouquet of flowers. Oh, thank you so much. But won't you like to come in for a small cup of lizard? Oh. Uh, I mean, a small lizard of coffee. I mean... You mean for a cup of coffee. That's true, that's true, that's true. Chavo, the witch in 71 gave you back your slingshot, huh? Yeah, but only on the condition that I never shoot any people with it again. Or any birds either. Or any dogs or any cats either. Or even any lizards either. Because all animals have a purpose in nature. Are you going to listen to her? Yeah, of course. But if you're not going to really shoot anything anymore, why do you even need a slingshot? Well, 
Well, I was hoping that maybe you wanted to... to trade it for a ham sandwich. Okie dokie. Mm. <laughs> 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 